so what's up to all my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today i am the eva monroe and this video has literally been requested for like the past year by many of my lovely subscribers and i finally got around to it <laughs> it is my top 10 tom ford fragrances you guys know I'm a fan, so let's jump right in. There's a new new on the block. I'm, I'm ready. Anybody smelled it? I haven't. Okay, number one at the top of my list. Now, I want you guys to take notice of the fact that when I show these bottles, these will be some of the few bottles in my collection that are actually like that that actually have dents in them they there some of them will be like this one here they will be empty i actually just bought a replacement for this one but number one at the top of my list is what i believe to be the foundation of the entire tom ford collection argue this with me if you will it is oud wood none other than oud wood this you guys when I tell you this is nothing short of amazing, this is amazing by itself, but this layers so beautifully with nearly everything in the private blend collection. When I tell it's like Frank's hot sauce. I put this ish on everything. Okay. Number one, Tom Ford, Oud Wood. Number two is what I believe to be one of the most slept on Tom Ford fragrances in the history of Tom Ford fragrances, and it's White Suede. This is amazing. This is so beautiful, you guys. Why don't you guys wear this? I do not know. Um, the people that I do know that like this really enjoy wearing this in the fall and winter months. I like to wear this all year round. I love to wear this all year round. Now, beautiful suede here, musk. But what does this smell like? This smells like my one of my other favorites, but the other favorite has a tuberose note and we'll get to that. But number two on my list is white suede. If you've never smelled that, get your hands on it. I don't know if there is a difference between that and the clear bottle because people ask me that all the time and I don't know I've never smelled the clear bottle I've had two bottles of that and both of those have been in dark bottles it's actually another one that we're I'm going to have to replace number three on my list is the lost one. Oh man listen this is lost cherry okay i'm gonna keep it real with y'all this is not my bottle okay this is my husband's bottle now my husband done went out and bought himself a hundred mil bottle and this this is my little empty little bottle right here but he's getting ready to be missing 20 mils don't even and he won't even know it but lost cherry oh my god lost cherry and oud wood lost cherry and effing fabulous lost cherry all by his lonely little self Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. This is beautiful. It's sexy. For me, it's not season specific. I wear this all year round. Number three, the lost one. Lost cherry. Number four is, I should have got these down, right? Previously. <laughs> Number four is effing fabulous. Oh, this is that beautiful this has an almond note in it that I just, I live my whole life for. Effing fabulous. This is that thing that if you either love this or you hate this, a lot of people love this. They say it smells messy. It doesn't make sense to them. Well, I love stuff that's messy and doesn't make sense. Sometimes I'm messy and don't make sense. Oh, effing fabulous. Number four on my list. Number five, another one that I feel is slightly slept on in the Tom Ford community, and that is Lavender Extreme. I really don't hear people talking about this. This is an amazing lavender. Um, this is lavender and Tonka, but a very authentic lavender in my opinion. I don't think it really has that like medicinal type quality that lavender has like when you smell it. 
um just you know i we have lavender um in a bed in a flower bed i love to just take my hand and run it through the lavender and then smell my hand it's kind of sharp it has a slight medicinal vibe to it but this very authentic lavender but i feel like maybe even the sweeter side to lavender not this doesn't have that fougere vibe either which sometimes fragrances that have a heavy lavender note in them in my opinion tend to kind of have that like um what's the one libre ysl libre i couldn't wear that i felt like it was rather masculine on me because of the heavy dominant lavender note that it had in it i don't feel i feel like the tonka and the lemon in this are just amazing i layered this wait a minute i layered this with the body shops lemon whipped body butter oh get your whole life child you out here smelling and depending on the season is um it depends on what i'll layer it with because sometimes i'll layer it with something really sweet and heavy in the winter time but if i want to lighten and freshen it up in the summer months then i'll layer it with lemon so that was number one two three four five number six on my list is the jap <laughs> these next two i'm gonna talk about I dare you, I dare you to try to get through winter without either one of these. Plum Japonaise, a beautiful plum note. My second favorite plum note. The first is Andy, um, bond number nine, beautiful plum note. This is that, it's juicy, sweet plum, but there's some smoky there. Very sexy in my opinion. This is so, oh, this is winter time, everything, okay? Plum Japonaise get you some now the next one of course tom this this is a winter time staple okay don't put your leather jacket on and your jeans and your crazy socks and think that you're gonna go out and kill them and you're not wearing tobacco over knee. oh she needs a new tobacco over knee. i need to buy a full bottle of tobacco over knee. oh my god when I smell this, just putting my nose to the nozzle, I start to think about what's getting ready to happen outside, how the leaves are getting ready to start falling off the trees and everything. And it makes me sad, but I get excited about the fact that I'm getting ready to be covering myself in this. Another reason why I haven't repurchased this is because I have a dupe for this. And if y'all wanna know what it is, let me know, leave it in the comment section below okay number eight on my list is none other than noir de noir oh this is another one of those one baby oh my god noir de noir man you talk about beautiful this is that sexy rose thing when people list their little favorite rose fragrances sometimes they leave this out don't leave this thing out this is really sexy to me i come here with oud wood as well don't know if other people have done it or tried it i i live for noir de, de noir number eight number nine is a new favorite of mine i have i have really been man this is crazy i don't know if you guys can see this i just got this bottle like the beginning of this year i don't even know if you guys can see this major dent I go ham with this. This is everything to me. And like I said, this is actually white suede with a tuberose note. You guys know I love tuberose. But Tommy, I dare you. I dare you to tell me this is not white suede. This is white suede with a tuberose note. There's no way. That's, that's exactly what they have done there. Tuberose new. Beautiful tuberose, tuberose scent. I find it to be, I find it to be feminine, but that's just my opinion. H however, I absolutely freaking adore it. All right, number 10 on my list is Soleil Neige. This is another one, you guys, that I live my entire life for. Um, oh, this is so good. It's so it's cold and sweet has there's a carrot note here that i smell i really pick up on that thing really makes me think of carrots and oh my goodness i love this this is so stunning and 
This layer is beautifully with Tuberous New and Oud Wood. Duh. Okay, last but not least, and I think I went to 11 of them, um, is this one right here. This is, you don't know what this is, right? This is Black Orchid. I cannot, I can't live my life without this. Cold winter day, extremely cold outside, sexy date night, you killing them. One night I was, I went, I was in the casino with my husband and I like to, sit at the blackjack table i like to play blackjack and there the gentlemen at the blackjack table were like who smell is it oh my god you smell so good like you just smell amazing and i think i might have had a leather jacket on that night i don't remember but oh my god black orchid so beautiful so sexy so sweet for a man for a woman this whenever my husband wears this i i lose my cool i'm just i'm gonna be perfectly honest about that um now my husband has the gold bottle because I bought it and I didn't like it, but it smells amazing on him. I couldn't really get with that thing in the top of the gold bottle, but it smells so damn good on him, but I'm sticking with the black. Um, he rocks the gold. He loves it. Okay. I lost count of what I was doing here, but I, I cannot even get out of here. And this should have been higher at the top of the list, but it's hard for me I can't you can't put them all in there when y'all ask for my top 10 it's hard because I only have the ones that I love with the exception of one and I'm going to tell you about that in a second this is metallic and this is almost empty <laughs> listen I don't know if you guys remember the year that I first I bought this this came out like I, I remember this came out the year that I had like my super duper huge birthday party and I went to a restaurant where I was ordering some catering or whatever from and the gentleman in there, he was a Jamaican brother. He was just like, I just, I cannot get over how good you smell. I just, it, it's just making me crazy. Um, I have never worn this anywhere ever and not gotten compliments on this. Um, I love the, the metallic thing that's going on in here, the stainless steel or whatever that thing is. But this plays out so beautifully with my body chemistry it smells so good on me um and it just makes my heart sing every time i smell this it, it's like medley cotton candy or something i don't really know i can't put my finger on this one but this is like this is way past amazing for me i love 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 covering myself in this one Tom Ford Metalik. Okay, the one fragrance that I have got my hands on from Tom Ford that I do not like. There have actually been two. Rose Prick. I parted ways with Rose Prick. I bought it when it was first released and then I got rid of it. I sold it to someone for a very nice price. But the other one that I absolutely really have not found my sweet spot with yet, I really don't like this, is Soleil Brulant. And honestly, I really need to decant this out because the bottle ain't going nowhere, okay? I need to decant this out. Um, yeah, this does nothing for me. I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna try to wear this in the winter time and see if it gives me the thing that everybody says it's giving. If not, I'm gonna decant it out. Um, yeah, it's no sense in wasting good juice, but the bottle stays with me because it's gold and it looks pretty up here with Lavender Extreme. Yeah, I can't find my sweet spot with that. So those are my favorite Tom Ford fragrances. I know you guys are like, well, that's <laughs> that's more than 10. It absolutely is. So thank you guys so much for watching me today. Remember, I said I feel like the foundation of an amazing Tom Ford fragrance collection, if I was even only going to have just one Tom Ford fragrance, I would have Oud Wood. Honestly, be blessed until I see you again and bye for now.